everybody. I'm People. I'm Pico. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Today, I'm going to show you how the TMPT does its job. Nice to see you, Pipo and Pico. Hello, officer. Where are you going, officer? I'm going out on patrol. See you. Pico, do you know what a police officer at a police box does? Well, he goes on patrol, gives directions, Returns lost items to the owner. Controls traffic. Yes, a police officer at a police box has lots of jobs. The police box is on the front lines of police work. Police boxes are everywhere so they can respond quickly to incidents and accidents and protect people's lives. People, are officers at a police box different from officers on police motorcycles or detectives? I knew you'd ask about that. Let's go and see various police officers at work. Yay! People and Picos discovering TMPD. This is the Communications Command Center at the TMPD headquarters. You know how people call 110 when there's an incident or accident, right? This is where they receive the emergency calls. Look at that screen in the middle. Wow, that's a big screen. This is a map of Tokyo Prefecture. It uses a state-of-the-art system to show the locations of incidents and accidents and where patrol cars are. When an emergency call comes in, they use the radio to send directions to patrol cars and police officers in the area so they can rush to the scene. Information comes in by radio from helicopters in the air and boats on the sea, too. The information is entered into computers and sent to nearby police stations and police boxes simultaneously. Wow! If officers can arrive at the scene even a second earlier, they have a better chance of rescuing people or arresting criminals. This is 110 TMPD. Is it an incident or an accident? Robbery? Police will be there right away. Hmm. I think there was a major incident. Huh? Let's go to the scene. A robbery is in progress. Please go to the scene immediately. Over. Roger. We're going to the scene immediately. It looks like there was a robbery here. Who are those people cleaning? They're not cleaning. They're from the identification division. They're using those tools to find fingerprints. Criminals leave sweat and oil when they touch something. When a special powder is sprinkled on... It's a handprint! The identification division is a team of experts who gather evidence from crime scenes. The evidence is used to find criminals and solve crimes. They collect footprints, hair, and even small objects that look like garbage. The gathered evidence is analyzed using various methods. The Criminal Investigation Laboratory uses science and the latest technology to solve the crimes. They conduct psychological examinations to see if a suspect is hiding something and make 3D models to preserve crime scenes. Wow! Evidence is not only things you can see. Sometimes scents are left at crime scenes. Police dogs help investigations by using their sense of smell. 
A trained police dog has a sense of smell that's 4,000 times stronger than people. Amazing! Hey, some police officers aren't wearing uniforms. Right. They are the investigators. They work in plain clothes so the criminals don't notice them. They gather information by talking to people, using surveillance cameras, and checking different kinds of materials to arrest the criminals. A police sketch officer makes portraits of criminals based on information provided by witnesses. Police officers who are good artists talk to witnesses about the criminal's facial features or ask them to choose facial parts that look similar. The sketches are important clues that help the police make arrests. What's this? It's no use trying to hide it. It's also the investigator's job to interrogate suspects after arresting them. But Pico, police officers don't just solve crimes. Let's go to the next stop. Wow! What is this place? This is the traffic control center. Information about traffic accidents and traffic jams in Tokyo is gathered here. There's a big map here too! Those are the main roads in Tokyo Prefecture. You can see it at a glance where an accident occurred or which roads are congested. The traffic control center adjusts the timing of traffic lights to prevent congestion and sends out the traffic jam information that we all see. Wow! That's awesome! It's also the job of the police to keep the roads safe. The traffic police catch drivers who are speeding or breaking traffic rules to prevent accidents. The TMPD has many different types of police cars and motorcycles. There's even a female police motorcycle squad called the Queen Stars. Wow, how cool! They also have parades to increase awareness and educate the public about traffic safety. Wow! So cute! It's thanks to the police that we can use the road safely and smoothly. Protecting everybody's safety is an important mission for the police. But they have to make all kinds of efforts to do that. What kinds of things do they do? Okay, let's go see! Hmm? Is this a school? That's right! This is the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Academy. They study here for about six months to learn about the law and the awareness and discipline that a police officer needs. Some people are doing judo. Is that part of the training too? That's right. Sometimes police officers have to catch bad guys and help people, so they practice kendo and judo here to keep their mind and body strong. Female police officers also practice Aikido. They look so tough! Even after graduating from the police academy, they go through rigorous training to gain the skills they need to make arrests and use guns. Police officers also go through driving training for motorcycles and patrol cars so they can handle high-speed chases. They have to be very good drivers because chasing speeding vehicles can be dangerous. There's also training for all kinds of different scenarios. At the TMPD, there are rescue teams that help people injured in disasters and special units that respond to terrorist attacks. They go through special training to prepare for crises and disasters. I see! They make a lot of effort to protect us! Yes! People! So many 
people live in Tokyo, so there must be lots of incidents and accidents, too. The TMPD has various programs to prevent crimes and accidents. They organize events to teach people how to prevent becoming victims of crimes. Predicting and preventing accidents is also an important job for the police. Look, it's the DJ cop! <laughs> Lifestyles change and evolve every day. The police also continue to take new steps to keep us safe. Thanks to the efforts of the TMPD and everybody's cooperation, the number of incidents that occur in a year has been reduced to about half what it was 10 years ago. That's incredible! So, what did you think? I really learned a lot! I see now that different kinds of police officers are working to protect this city. Right. Each police officer is working hard so we can all feel safe living in this city. So, shall we head back? Okay! Thanks, everybody! Take care!